Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, you can do better than that. I remember distinctly. I'm a gorgeous person. Okay, okay, I want to know, how is the fishing? I assume, Greg, you know, Mike is going to be so upset that he wasn't here to greet you. Gosh, what a surprise. No kidding, she was going to do this whole big fancy dinner, and I was going to make a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Okay, and the whole... so we'll make a whole big fancy lunch. I, it, it's not really necessary. No, wait, I'll call the hospital and see if I can take the day off. Amy, please, w would you just wait? No, really, it's okay, because I have vacation time. Kind of, yeah, I can do the same thing. And we'll have, a, we'll have a special kind of party, just us, and then when Mike comes home, he can... Amy, get off the phone, all right? It's all right. Mind. She can do it without making a problem. There's no problem. No problem for you. What about me? Did anybody bother to consider me? I walk in the door and I'm attacked. I may not be ready for that right now. Excuse me. What's wrong with him? I didn't mean anybody I think it. he's just, uh, you know, tired from the trip. Should I apologize? You no. Know, not now. Maybe tonight. I think right now the best thing you could do is just go to work. What about you? I'll be along in a little while. Could you, um, um, he will understand. Okay. Fishing was really rotten, right? You sat in that boat for eight hours a day and you didn't even get a nibble. Well, never mind. Sweetheart, we can talk about the ones that got away. What's wrong? Nothing. You're all tense and uptight. Something has got to be wrong. Well, see, I'm tired. I had a long trip and I need to reacclimate myself. And that's all? Yes. Then I don't think I understand. What is there to understand? I'm tired. I had a long trip. You can get tired on trips. I walk in the door and all I get is, uh, is something wrong? I don't understand. Are you all right, Rick? Well, obviously something seems to be wrong or we wouldn't be asking and you wouldn't be reacting the way you are. People are supposed to mellow out after a vacation. You want an act? I'll give you an act, okay? Something so happened you... out there. Nothing happened out there. Nothing. Well, then why aren't you happy to see us? I am happy to see you, but all I get from you and Amy is the third degree I walk in. I don't even get my bags down. She's organizing some uh, welcome home party. Well, you've been alone for three weeks. You come home to your family, and you want to be alone still? Is that so hard to understand? It is impossible to understand. Yeah. I have to go to work. I will just assume that you are not coming into work today as you are still officially on vacation. Leslie... I will see you tonight. It's Rick. Well, you're back. Yeah, I just got in. Lucky you caught me. I was on my way to the hospital. Could you stop by here first? Okay, well, I could, if it's important. It is. What, you have more paint? Uh, look, just please stop by and don't mention this to anybody. Okay, who would I tell? I mean, Alan. Don't even say a word to Alan. Please. Well, you don't have to worry about that. He left quite a while ago. And where? I haven't a clue. See ya. Hi there. Say, it's a long time since we've had a little secret meeting together. You can almost uh, manage to smile with that, but I don't think <laughs> I can make it pretty soon. So, uh, I gather the vacation did not work out. Well, the vacation was great. That was fine. It was the trip back that started it again. More pains? Not as severe, but they are definitely there. Well, you know, it could be tension. It could be coming back to work, to the house, to all the responsibilities and the brood you've managed to inherit here. That's a distinct possibility, yes. But you think it's more serious? Well, I know that if I had a patient myself who had those specific complaints, I'd make sure they had a thorough checkup. Isn't that funny? That's exactly what I was going to recommend to you. 
There's one uh, thing I'm hesitant about. Uh, staying away from work, I would imagine. And not just that, Monica. This has to be a secret. No one can know. Yes, I know that. That's understandable. The second I would put a gown on it, General, then it would be on the grapevine, and then everybody would know. Right, I see your point. Well, I've done a lot of thinking about it. I can't do it at General. Well, you know, I do have um, credentials at Mercy. That's what I was getting at. Why don't you work me in over there? It's just for tests, of course. Sure, I could. Great. It would take a little time, unless, of course, it's an emergency. No, it's not an emergency. Are you sure? I'm sure it's not. Okay, then. All right, I shall set it up, and I will see you there. Please. Absolutely no one can know. Listen, my friend. That goes with that saying. Thanks. I'm uh, probably going to be just fine. I know you're going to be just fine. That also goes with that saying. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Ah. Is it me? Is that why you went away in the first 
several aspects of this. Well, it's just a party. Yeah, it's a political party, and in essence, it's one to kick off Lee's campaign, right? Nobody is asking you to vote tonight. Yeah, my being there is going to be a certain show of support for him anyway. Not necessarily. He's your friend. And he's not necessarily the man who I'm going to vote for or the man who I think I want for the next mayor of Port Charles. you got to be kidding. Not at all. Well, what's there to think about? I mean, the choice is obvious. Why? Because Luke is the best man. That's all. You got to vote for Luke. Well, I probably will vote for Luke. Probably. But anyway, that does not mean that I can't go to a party for his opponent, my friend, and enjoy myself. I'm going to have to be perfectly honest with everybody there, including Lee, that I haven't made up my mind yet as to just who I am going to support in the campaign. Oh, this is unbelievable. Where are you going? I'm going outside to get some fresh air. What about your dinner? I don't eat with traitors. Hey, hey, watch your mouth, guy. For your first rally. Well, I tell you, I am amazed. I was totally convinced that Gail and I would be the only people here tonight. Oh, darling, not with the Quartermains throwing the party. As your well, friends, how could we miss this? It's going to be quite a tough campaign, though. Two uh, excellent candidates. going to be a difficult choice. Well, only two for now. I mean, who knows who, who may decide to throw their hats in the ring. Oh, heaven forbid. Uh, strangers, possibly, are welcome to run. Friends, they've got to wait for another election. Mm. Uh, 